So when a ship leaves the shipyard for the final time after her construction, it's a very special experience. As we were pulling away from Fincantieri shipyard, all the crew were up lining the railings to say goodbye. It was a very emotional experience. It was an enormous sense of pride. She's such a stable, quiet ship. She's an absolute joy to command. The ship itself is absolutely spectacular. I think when guests come on board the Seaborn Encore, those guests that have sailed with us before will see uh, a number of familiar things, but the feel and design of the ship is certainly that much more forward. The designer of Seaborn Encore, of course, is Adam Tahani. We create opportunity for people to discover the ship. And around every corner, you can have these discoveries. It is somewhat familiar, but at the same time, it's new. Seaborn Square is probably the most obvious because the change is quite dramatic. It's a piazza. It's still a square, but it's not a square. It's round and open. What has happened is that the whole dynamics of the room changed. It's just one big, wonderful living room. Right off of Seaborn Square are the shops with a jewelry store that is right up front and then you can walk back into the shop for different boutique items. The Seaborn Encore will be our second ship to host the grill by Thomas Keller. The experience uh, in the grill is extraordinary. It's fashioned after the great American chop house uh, experience from the 50s and 60s. We've taken a beautiful area and created a small and comfortable and elegant sushi restaurant. It is a new space and a new feature on Seaborn that will make people very surprised and excited. One of the new spaces on board the Seaborn Encore is the Retreat. The Retreat is a space that is by reservation only for charge. You can enjoy one of 15 private cabanas with beverage service, afternoon meal service, and a spa concierge that will perform spa treatments in one of the spa cabanas itself. The guests that are going to be coming here, particularly our club members, will be used to this ship. Internally, she's laid out very similar to the Odyssey Sojourn and Quest. So they'll come here and they'll feel at home. The suites are warm, they're inviting, they're comfortable, but they're also very exciting and fresh and full of some new touches and some new features. Everything that we've done here, from softening the corners and the lighting and the colors and the materials, it's all about hospitality. I am so proud of the men and women, the members of the Seaborn team that have spent so much time to bring this ship to life. When you see their passion and you see the commitment that they have put into building this ship. They pulled together in true teamwork fashion and made this ship what she is now. I could not be here without every single one of those Seaborn crew members. I'm so proud of them, of what they've achieved. The Angkor project is really a classical scale and proportion of a luxury hotel that we love doing. So for me, if I ever wanted to design a ship at sea, a luxury ship, this was it. This is truly an incredible ship. And I think that for those guests that are true seaborne 
dedicated club members, they're going to absolutely love it. For those that are new to Seaborn, they're going to be excited, surprised, and I know will return. Inaugural ceremonies are a very significant part of any cruise company's history. I had no doubt that this ship would be stunning, and I have to say, wow. After months of watching the Seaborn Encore under various stages of construction, the day is finally here to officially welcome her to the Seaborn family. You know, as a captain, it's something special to take control of a brand new ship with a team of extremely capable men and women. Now I'd like to introduce the godmother for this very special day. Ladies and gentlemen, Sarah Brightman. I named the ship Seaborn Encore. May God bless her and all who sail in her.